When it comes to putting labels on your drawings, there's a couple of options. And one of the options is the label tool. You click on the object that you want to label and it brings up this option here. Now, where do we get that from? If we look at the label tool and double click, we have the ability to use this one called the auto text. Now the auto text and the hot link and element ID will read objects if they've got information attached to them. So for example, if I click on the door, you can see it picks up the door number. This one will pick up the door number and so on. So there's some real advantage in using this if you've got the information attached to the objects. I've got a roof here and I don't have any information attached to it. So I would have to type the information. And the answer for that is to make sure that you've got some information stored that makes it easy to copy and paste. For example, I've got an untitled document here. I've got my roofing information. There it all is there. So I'm going to copy that. Go back to here, double click, paste it on, and that's my note attached there. Now, there's a lot of information here, so there's actually quite a lot. I need to stretch this. Let's see if we can resize it. There it is there. And it's set to be uh, left wrapped and move it to that point. So that's one way of doing it. That way, when you need this note again, you can copy it go to the next elevation or the next section that you need it, paste it, and there it is there, and just move it to the right location, and it's done. So that's certainly one way that you can do the notes. Now the other way of doing the notes is to use something called keynotes. Now I'm using the CI Tools keynotes, CI Tools, keynotes, and I'll bring up my keynotes palette. So this is my Keynotes palette. So if I select this one here, I'm going to go Control T to bring up the dialog box because I want this to become a CI Tools Keynote instead. I can choose what pointer I've got. I can also choose whether the label is the key, whether it's the title or just the description. I'm just going to use title at the stage. And there it is there and it just says existing spot levels. And I've turned off the arrow. So let's go back to the pointer. Make sure we've got the pointer turned on, and there's my pointer. So I can drag that now down to here. I'd like this note to actually refer to the roofing. So over here you can see I've actually got a note here for roofing. I click on that note there, so I've now got roofing. If I go back to the settings, I can choose my keynote label to show the description as well. And I get the entire description. So you'll notice it's quite similar to the note that we had before. Again, I can copy and paste this keynote. That's easy enough. Copy, paste. And I should have two notes there. And I can drag one across and put the second note there. So you can see I've got those notes. So that's another way to do it. Now, what that means is that we need to then start putting this information into keynotes here. And the way we do it is to open this. This is our keynotes where we can add extra notes. Let's see what I've got. I've got the Safit. If I haven't already created that, I'll create that Safit. So I've copied the note from my from my list. That's my Safit there. I'm going to delete that note. I'm going to create a new one. And this is going to be 43.02. The title is Ridge Flashing. And I'm going to paste in my note from my Google document. So we've got that one selected. This has got the roofing on it. Let's get rid of that roofing and we'll put ridge flashing on there. There's my ridge flashing. And if I want the entire note, don't forget that I can go to my settings and I can say add the entire description, but take away the title. And then I just get the entire note written. So that gives you the ability to on some drawings, you might want to have the entire note. And on some drawings, you might want to only have the title. So it's through the settings and title, get rid of the description, and there it is there. Now the other thing you can do once you've created your keynotes is to group together all the keynotes into one large grouping. So if we go back to have a look at section B, let me just have a look at section B. So on section B, I've created an entire block of notes here. And what I've done is I've just added all of these together. You can see them here. Let me show you how you make one. So I'll get my ridge flashing. Let's put my ridge flashing up here. We'll go control T. So I'm going to put the title and the description. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of the pointer. So I've gotten rid of the arrow. 
So now it's just got the ridge flashing. There it is there, ridge flashing. It's got the note. Uh, what else would I like? I'd like the key. So I want to have the key as well. Okay, so now it's got the key. It's got the note. Let's make that a bit wider. And we'll make it that wide. So I've got the key, I've got the note. So now what I can do is I can start adding these extra notes. And I've got the entire list. So that's a great way of putting all the notes that relate. So that's just a quick introduction to keynotes. Hope you've learned something from that. Thanks for watching.